Marcus, Mark 1. The beginning of the Besara of Yahusha Hamashiach, the son of Elohim. As it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, which shall prepare your way before you. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of Yahuwah, make his paths straight. Yahuchanan did immerse in the wilderness and preach the immersion of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Yahud and they of Yarushalayim, and were all immersed of him in the river of the Yardan, confessing their sins. And Yahuchanan was clothed with camel's hair and with a belt of a skin about his loins. And he did eat locusts and wild honey, and preached, saying, There comes one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. I indeed have immersed you with water, but he shall immerse you with the Ruach HaKadosh, and it came to pass in those days that Yahusha came from Nazareth of Galil and was immersed of Yahuchanan in the Yardan. And straightway coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opened and the Ruach like a dove descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven saying, You are my Yahid, in whom I am well pleased. And immediately the Ruach drives him into the wilderness. And he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered unto him. Now after that, Yahuchanan was put in prison. Yahusha came into Galil, preaching the Besara of the kingdom of Yahuwah, and saying, The time is fulfilled. And the kingdom of Yahuwah is at hand. Repent ye and believe the Besara. Now as he walked by the sea of Galil, he saw Shimon and Andrai, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And Yahusha said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And straightway they forsook their nets, and followed him. And when he had gone a little further thence, he saw Eth Yaakov, the son of Zavi, rather Zavdi, and Eth Yahuchanan, his brother, who was also, rather, who also were in the ship, mending their nets. And straightway he called them, and they left their father Zavdi in the ship with the hired servants and went after him. And they went into Kafar Nachum, and straightway on the Shabbat he entered into the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean ruach, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone! What have we to do with you, Yahusha, the Netzari? Are you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of Yahuwah. And Yahusha rebuked him, saying, Hold your peace, and come out of him. And when the unclean Ruach had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed. So much so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with all, for other, for with authority commands he even the unclean Ruachoth, and they do obey him. And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region round about Galil. And 
Forthwith, when they were come out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Shimon and Andrai with Yaakov and Yahuchanan. But Shimon's woman mother, rather, woman's mother lay sick of a fever, and straightway they tell him of her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left her, and she ministered unto them. And at evening, when the sun died, rather, when the sun did set, they brought unto him, Eth, all that were diseased, and them that were possessed with devils. And all the city was gathered together at the door. And he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases, and cast out many devils, and suffered not the devils to speak, because they knew him. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. And Shimon and they that were with him followed after him. And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for you. And he said unto them, Let us go into the next towns, that I may preach there also. For therefore came I forth. And he preached in their synagogues throughout all Galil, and cast out devils. And there came a leper to him, beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, If you will, you can make me clean. And Yahusha moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him, and said unto him, I will be clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was cleaned rather cleansed, and he straightly charged him, and forthwith sent him away, and said unto him, See that you say nothing to any man, but go your way, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing eth those things which Moshe commanded, for a testimony unto them. But he went out, and began to publish it much, and to blaze abroad the matter, so much so that Yahusha could no more openly enter into the city, but was without in desert places. And they came to him from every quarter.